Hello everybody, welcome back. We are on approach now into Barbados in the ATR. Got everything up and going. We got the uh, the uh, dynamic LOD, we've got the Holy Grail settings, we've got... Uh, what else have we got going on? Frame gen mod. So we got everything going on. Uh, arguing here a little bit with... Uh, with the VNAV. It's not quite working. <laughs> I suppose it either works or it doesn't. There's no quite working, is there? Um, but for whatever reason, even though the magenta box is there, whatever, yeah, whenever I go into... whenever I try to go into VNAV, it doesn't like it. I don't know quite why. But, that's the way it is. The beautiful thing about this airplane is that it's very easy to hand fly. Uh, there's nothing challenging about flying this airplane, you know, in terms of, uh, the, you know, the physical handling of the airplane. So, very, very easy. I'm not getting the descent checklists either, which I'm sure has to do with the fact that I was slightly late in Ending elevation is automatic. FMS nav data is set. Decision height is set. Arrival briefing is complete. Um, I was late in getting, like, by literally two seconds late in getting the uh, VNAV engaged, and it's quite clearly not happy about that. So I'm going to go direct Elixir. Which is going to give me a five mile final here. And let's see, seatbelts, landing lights. What is all this? You know, this. Where are we? 11,000 feet. So, we're having some arguments here with the, with the aircraft, but let's see what signs are on. So, and there's the island of Barbados coming into view. And I love these evening approaches in the Caribbean. They are so cool. How can you not like this? How can you not like this? We're about 20 miles from Elixir, so I think it's time to activate the approach speeds here. And we're going to bring back the power. I go a little steeper into this descent here. Landing lights coming on. I've got a uh, got a lighting mod. I don't see my lighting lights. Where are my lighting lights? All right, I just turn them off. Okay, so let's try that again. There we go. See, that's a uh, an LED landing light mod. ATR, which looks really, really nice. It actually allows you to actually allows you to see outside the aircraft, which is good. On uh, on final, it's very difficult to see with the stock lighting. here. Uh, let's see, where are we? 15 miles. Apparently Adams Traffic, Caribbean, 217, 15 miles to the south, 
we make him a five mile right base for uh, runway nine or Barbados. And so let's see here. We'll do our fidgeting, get ourselves ready. Uh, we are now 10 miles from Alexa. I'm not worried. Not too, too worried yet. That is, I do believe. Would that be Dominica in the distance? No, that would be St. Lucia. That would be St. Lucia. So, sun just going down. Alright. Now, do you like... Nah, I'm not even going to bother with VNAV at this point. Bring that up to about 1,200 feet a minute on the descent. And where are we? We got about 10 miles from Elixir. So, everything is looking nice. It's what I like about this airplane, is it's so easy to fly. Like, to actually fly. It's not a spaceship. It's not like the 737. If you can fly a 172, if you understand pitch, power, performance in a 172, you can fly this airplane. In a way that you can't fly... The, uh, the 737, if, if, you know, I, I would, I would venture to guess you could talk a competent 172 pilot into a decent landing in this airplane, or an incompetent one in my case. Alright, so what is it that I want to do? Uh, yeah, I'll wait till five miles. That's the other thing is that you can see the runway end identifier lights there. You know what runway end identifier lights do? They identify the end of the runway. Aviation has a, <laughs> has a way of the obvious sometimes. Alright, there's flaps 40. Alright. And to show you what I mean, go to your damn way autopilot away, and we'll just fly this in. Simple, simple airplane to fly. Get rid of that warning. Flaps 15. Alright, uh, just gonna pull the nose up just a little bit. So I can bleed off some of that speed. And we're looking good. Grantly Adams traffic, uh, Caribbean 217, 5 mile right base runway 9 -er. Grantly Adams. Gosh, this is so bad. I love flying. Well, first of all, I love flying in the, Carib in the Caribbean. But I really love flying in the Barbados. Barbados is just such a cool... Such a cool place to fly into. And Elixir, we want to be at 2,000. And we are already at 1,500. So we'll make our... Make a little bit of a cut in here bring in some power and this is what I mean it's just it's such an easy airplane to fly it's such an easy airplane to fly Grantly Adams traffic Caribbean 2175 mile final Roman Niner Grantly Adams we are on VATSIM we are always on VATSIM we love VATSIM also flying on Volanta. I, w I used the free version of Volanta for a long, long time. Um, and for Christmas, they had a they had a special, and so I got it. I got I paid like the yearly membership. It was like two dollars and fifty cents a month. The way it worked out. So there's one white there. So now I'm gonna go gear down. Flaps full. 
And that looks like too white, too red to me. So we'll go take off setting for the power. Let that nose come down. And again, like I'm, I'm a little bit high now because I kind of went through the glide slope that I was looking to capture. Uh, but it's it's just doesn't really matter in this airplane. Decent wind out of the left, if you haven't noticed that yet. Alright, that's good. Now we'll lower this, uh, this descent rate to about 500 feet a minute. Bring in some power. Bring in some power to keep the airspeed up. Boy, we're not covering ourselves in glory right now. how easy this plane is to fly and I'm doing a pretty poor job of doing that. Alright. Grantley Adams traffic, Caribbean 217 short final runway nine or approaching minimum. Five hundred. Minimum. Continuing. I always like to keep a little bit of no, 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 no. a little bit of I don't like to trim out the control forces fully on final. I like to have a little bit of a pull in it still because that it just it keeps you feeling 200 rather than observing A little bit high, but that's all right. Fifty. So bringing some power out. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Ah, uh, that whole approach just wasn't clean. I'm not going to put in the reversers because we've got some distance to cover here. The whole approach just wasn't real clean. Get the reversers now. The whole approach just wasn't clean. You know, um, it was a little bit sloppy the whole time. You know, the, the I always say a key to a good landing is a good approach. And I know you think to your, you hear that and you think to yourself, well, duh. Um, but it really is the case. And one of the things my instrument instructor used to say to me was that, like, he used to say, I don't know why you tolerate the little things. You know, why do you tolerate being right of center line for such a long period of time you know why do you why do you tolerate uh, you know being for for red and then for white like, why do you tolerate those little deviations because those little deviations add up uh, those little deviations add up on an approach and frankly, I, I really haven't been flying that much lately, to be honest with you. Because I've been making all these tech videos for you guys. Which is all well and good, like, you know, not complaining. Um, but, uh, I think that approach right there... was sloppy just from lack of uh, lack of practice really uh, so this is the richer simulations version of this airport um, final approach simulations did it earlier on in the sim 
in the Sims uh, existence. And I was just glad to have it. Barbados is such an iconic airport uh, for me uh, in the Caribbean. It's just uh, it's just one of those just one of those destinations. I I, I, I can't even click anything right. Um, it's just one of those iconic destinations. One of the iconic landings in the in the islands. And the prop break on. Now shut down the number one engine, and let's go on. Uh, I find this overhead less less kind of visible at night than the than the seven three seven. I find it a little bit more difficult to kind of view at night. Um, but, uh, yeah, and so Final Approach Simulations did this airport, and they did a nice job. I mean, uh, you know, no complaints for sure, but at the same time, I think this version is much nicer. We'll take a quick look at it here in a second. Um, yeah, I think we're doing pretty well here. So now we can shut down number two engine we got everything we need and let's go outside take a look here real quick beautiful isn't it it's not exactly like a uh, a grand tour that I'm giving you here but it's a really cool airport and it's, it's beautiful at night as you can as you can hopefully see and uh, Gonna take a little screenshot right there, but yeah, it's a really cool airport, really cool location and approach. So, anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I hope you're having a good weekend, and we'll see you soon.